Good morning, babes. Happy Black Friday. I'm going to start with the announcements. Let's roll with the announcements. I am Amy Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Announcement number one is 10% off today, all HD readings. So all you need to do is type in the code Black Friday and you get 10% off. Done deal. Amazing. These readings are with Liz Coyles. Speaking of Liz Coyles, she just dropped an incredible offer for you guys which is called HD The Foundations. And in this two hour masterclass, she's gonna be live. If you're not able to be there live, you get the replay, you get the PDFs, you get all the things obviously, but this is for the person that has been like swept into human design and maybe has read the books, maybe is bored silly by the books, <laughs> maybe is like, I want more, I wanna hear it from you guys, I love how you teach, you've maybe had a reading with Liz, you've maybe gone down your own rabbit hole and you're like, this is not just about me, this can be like the endless possibilities of how you can utilize human design and you need the foundations you need the foundations more than what you have been taking in yourself and in a different way like you know when you hear it in a different way and it clicks that what that's what this is all about so you can head to our facebook group align by design hd and pick that up grab it it's going to be next week price is going up on um sunday sunday monday to 333 right now it's 222 so hop in there while you can it's gonna be something that you utilize forever and ever and ever and ever all right next announcement I am opening up my coaching. I've had this calling in these invitations to open up my coaching to a male or two male clients. And I've, I've worked with males before in HD readings and um, in programs. I've had males in my program, specifically PPP. And there have been an influx of males coming in to my world that are looking for coaching. They're already coaches. Let's be very clear. You're already a coach. You know this man. He's already a coach. He's already making an impact in the world and is ready to align with his human design and utilize human design in his business to change everything for himself. He already is very happy and satisfied in his life and his relationship, all of those things. This is just opening up for like a male energy to come in that wants to move, that wants to harmonize and align with their human design and do it in a way that is going to create more impact than what they're making right now and they're ready for it. So there's that. Next thing, projectors. Price is going up this weekend as well to $1,111. It is $9.99 right now. PPP, what I'm talking to you guys quickly about for projectors right now is this good girl, this good girl persona that we have, right? Projectors, we have always had this good girl energy about us, this good girl, girl next door, you know, have to be nice, nice girl energy. And it has been so draining and exhausting for us. And part of that has been the fact that people have felt safe and we feel so kind and nice to other people, but there's a huge difference between kindness and niceness and overgiving and sacrificing in order for other people to feel good around you and taking that on as your, your responsibility versus standing in your power, having your boundaries, having super clean energy in your life, in your alignment, so that the people around you can thrive even more. And not many projectors are able to make that shift. And what we always go back to is the need to sacrifice in order for other people to be happy, in order for them to be thriving, in order for them to be healthy, in order for them to feel financially stable, whatever it is in your world, you've found, you've been conditioned to sacrifice. And part of that is because we have this energy that is almost like this pushover type energy. And not all of you, I know some of you are like, uh-uh, I got the sass, I got the fire, I've always had it. That is amazing. But there's still this part of you that gives up more than what you would like to, that gives up more and sacrifices more than what you know you're here to do. And I want you to understand that projectors, this is the most draining thing that we can, we can continue to let go on in our dialogue, in our alignment, in our energy, and it is not necessary and in fact it is not here for you it is not helping you thrive and what we always need to understand from human design is that none of it is here to make us sacrifice there's no limit that is being put on us except for the ones you're putting on yourself so all of a sudden when the human design world has blown up and you've realized your projector you're like oh my gosh I am so limited right now you are the one limiting yourself you're the one putting this glass ceiling on yourself about I need to sacrifice an order for this I can't spend money on this because this I need to be the one that's over giving I need to be the one that you know okay maybe next time it'll be for me right maybe next time I'll be the one because always throughout your life you've been the one pushed to the side you've been the one that has been 
generally non-confrontational, the one that will be like, okay, fine, you know, it'll be, I'll, I'll get it next time. Maybe next time I'll have the toy. Maybe next time I'll speak up. Maybe next time I'll win, or maybe next time they'll see me, right? All of our conditionings that have happened because we're a projector, and it's almost easy for us to fall into that, has continued to escalate to our adult life and your coaching, right? And your coaching or your business or whatever's going on in your world right now of how you're bringing in your income. And this, you're quickly realizing what an energy leak it is. Hello, gorgeous, is that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is such an energy leak and it's not healthy for you. It is not healthy for anyone else because what happens? Oh, all of a sudden you're bitter, right? All of a sudden you're, you're, you're not self theme, you're misalignment theme, bitter, bitter, bitter. And then what happens is you can't help but become the ice queen. You can't help but leak out the bitterness into all of the places or the rudeness or the, the shortness or the tone or whatever it is that's coming out of you. Do you know what a light you are meant to be? Do you know how bright you're meant to be? You are not meant to be taken advantage of. You are not meant to be sacrificing in order for other people to stand on top of you to get to their place. That is not your reality anymore, but you need to make the move and you need to do the unsexy work, which we'll be doing together as a community inside PPP. And we're gonna shift the way you show up in your power from these shifts, from shifting this good girl energy, the sacrificer, the one that is gonna be the, the, the stepping stone for everyone else, that's not your role anymore. We're breaking the barriers on that. We're shifting the paradigm of what leadership looks like and feels like for you in your life. And it is no, no longer draining. It is no longer exhausting. You still get to be kind. You get to hold, I, I hate the word boundaries, but these these energetic this energetic power where nobody even crosses it. You know, Nobody even comes in there. You don't even need to step out like these are my boundaries like no you're in your power that's your boundary that's what we're going with in PPP that's your boundary your boundary is your power and nobody messes with that nobody crosses that over and when they do they wish they didn't <laughs> not in a despiteful like revenge way but like oh my gosh I understand why this everybody else that's when the sacrifice comes in right that is the sacrifice so that they end up making because all of a sudden they are not supported. They are not thriving. They are not their health, healthiest selves anymore because of you. So you get to stand in the light. You get to stand in your kindness. You get to stand, stand in your warmth. You get to be the person out of integrity that you always have been, but now you get to stand in your power. Now we shift from sacrificing and good girl mentality and sacrifice our energy into power, into strength, into evolution into bright, brighter light, a brighter light where you're shining even brighter. I have a post that's coming out probably tomorrow for you guys that is all about something that I went through in August that I really started to do myself down and try and, and for a minute, a quick minute, a hot second, I was like, oh gosh, I really shouldn't be my brightest, you know, hottest, sexiest self right now because X, Y, Z, because this, this, this. And it's all a mentality. It's all about shining brighter. It's all about owning who you are. And we don't own who we are because we're told who we are needs to be a little bit less. And not in the big, bold energy way of our Manny Gens and Gens or manifestors. It's in the like, yeah, but mm, don't be that. Don't be that. You know, you can't be that. If you do that, they're going to feel bad. If you stand that like that, they're going to about themselves if you if you are thriving if you're proud of yourself only be it for a quick second because that needs to be over and moved on with right do you see that with your clients too are you seeing this in your world where you're not able to shine your brightest and if you do all of a sudden you're triggering other people and the trigger becomes your fault right people around you are not able to take responsibility because you're not holding your power yet so you get to step into this and you get to thrive. You are here to thrive, break your own glass ceiling, stop your limitations. There's no limitations when it comes to human design. We're supposed to be popping the lid off of the limitations and living a limitless life in your power, in your alignment, with ease, with freedom, with flow, with all of the things that you want and that you're born to have. Every desire you have, every thought that is passing within you that is a next level, high level, exciting, thrilling, yes kind of thought is a thought because you're meant to have it, because you're meant to achieve it. So how do you get there? You get there through alignment. You get there through alignment. Through alignment, we work through integrity. We work through integration. We work through embodiment, which is what we're doing in, M in PPP. Without PPP, we don't do the unsexy work. The unsexy work that nobody has shown you yet, that nobody has specifically dove in with you as a projector to understand all of the under layers, all of the missing pieces that you have not seen yet in yourself. You get to see it. We're gonna rise, we're gonna thrive, we're gonna step into the most powerful selves we've ever been. 
and you're going to shed those layers. You're going to shed the layers to the layers of who you authentically are in your power. And it, let me tell you, it's a person that you've never seen before. It is a person that you've never actually seen the reflection of before. Isn't that exciting? I mean, you know, you're going to recognize the person. You're going to know them, but you haven't quite seen them yet in this power. Can't wait to see you guys there. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Please share this with any projector that needs to hear this message and needs to be in PPP because this is going to be life changing, not just for them, but the ripple effect that projectors have outwardly, right? The, the impact that they have on other people, it's going to change everyone else's lives from them changing, from them shifting. All right. I love you guys. We're going to go celebrate MMP right now because it's our final call, our celebration, our wrap up. And I'm so blown away by everything at MMP. I can't wait to be sharing all of the things from there too, because it's been massive, crazy, incredible celebrations. I love you guys. Have a beautiful day and happy shopping. <laughs> Bye.